This new system will allow us to alert the outdoor public uh, using tone and voice based alerts for severe weather and other outdoor hazards. Currently we have 10 and with the new system we'll have 17. The primary hazard that we activate the system for will be for tornadoes but we also activate for hail, damaging winds and flooding, specifically flash flooding. But there are also non-weather related hazards that we will activate the system for including any hazardous material incidents, civil unrest and civil defense. Public safety is my number one priority as mayor, and this increases our level of public safety that we have in the city. Uh, you know, many people have a smart device, a smartphone that will alert you uh, of, you know, something happening, tornado, severe weather, but people who are outside doing lawn work or, or don't, are not near their phone or don't have a smartphone, this provides that, that additional level of warning to you that there's something that you need to go back inside for and tune into the local news. So we test this system once a month if conditions are right. Uh, typically we need to have a clear, non-cloudy day, uh, but we activate once a month, first Wednesday at 1 p.m. These sirens were paid for by the generous voters who approved the 2021 bond election, which allowed us to uh, change out our old uh, multi-decade year system with a brand new state-of-the-art outdoor warning siren system that will include more coverage, more sound coverage, and have weather stations and PTZ cameras on certain locations.